How's it going? My name is Scott and today we are going to discuss how to fix the duplicator installer. We are going to address the 403 error that you see when you're trying to install an archive. Stay tuned. I post WordPress solutions to problems that you may encounter during your WordPress development. I also make in-depth YouTube growth videos on my channel. Video examples that you might see here are watch time growth tips, graphic design for improved brand development, network strategies, speech techniques for improved retention, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to be notified when these kind of videos come out, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, and you will be the first to know. Have you ever been installing from Archive using the Duplicator plugin? and you get a 403 error. It usually means that there is a permission not being granted by the server, and it doesn't have anything to do with HT access. Usually it occurs when you're working with the DAF extension, which is commonly used with Duplicator Pro. All right, let's fix this Duplicator Pro plugin error by heading over to the C panel. Um, I've got mine loaded up right here, and I want you to scroll down and look for an application called mod security and what mod security is is a open source web-based firewall application that's supported by various web uh, servers like lightspeed apache and iis and what it does is basically protect against web application hacks like cross website scripting bad user agents sql injections trojan session hacking and all that kind of garbage it simply protects your website against that. Now when you're going into the duplicator archive and you're clicking the installer.php uh, file, it sends commands to open up, create folders and put uh, files inside folders and mod security is thinking that this is malicious activity and shutting down the permissions of those folders to be written to. So we need to turn off mod security. So let's go back in real quick, click mod security, and turn, click the off button. Now, you're gonna wanna give uh, mod security about five to 10 minutes to actually turn off. It doesn't happen right away because it's sending commands to the server to deactivate it. So it doesn't happen right away. Wait a little bit, come back, try to reinstall uh, the DAF archive and you should be good to go. If you go on your cPanel and you don't find mod security or you don't have a cPanel at all, Give your web host a call and ask them to deactivate the web application firewall. They call it a WAF in the industry. It's also referred to as a web-based firewall application. Give them a call and ask them if they'll just turn it off for a little bit while you install your website with Duplicator Pro. And if they give you a problem where they tell you that uh, it's not secure, we can't do it, blah, 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 and they, give you, they fight back a little bit, it might be time to consider getting another host. Now there is an extension that Duplicator Pro uses called a DAF. It is called a digital anchor file. And if you're interested in opening up this file type on your computer, click this square right here and get the easy solution.